Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how a Scrum Master or any other professional can use Jira tool for agile project management and that to for free. Okay. So as you know, Jira is the agile project management tool and most of the organization, they use G the Jira tool for their product management and project management. Okay. So if you see this, this is the uh, link for uh, the tool. And here you see this get it free option. So Jira tool is free for 10 users. And if you have more than 10 users, then definitely you'll have to buy a commercial version. Okay, so just click on get it free. And once you click on get it free, you will have to select, it, it will ask you to select the second product, a Confluence or Jira service management. Just click on next. And now enter your site name here. So site name is nothing but a place which you want to create the Jira instance, which you want to create for your ID. So you have to enter your email ID and your site name. So just make sure that while entering the site name, it should be in lowercase. So it has to be the combination of lowercase characters, numbers and letters only. Okay. So let me uh, enter my site name. And once you enter the site name, you have to click on agree, right? And then it will take few minutes to build your site, right? And then you will be navigated on this screen where you have to select a template. So there are three templates, Kanban, Scrum, and Business. But in this video, we are going to focus on how you use Jira for Scrum framework. So I'm going to select a Scrum template and then just click on next. Here you have to enter your project name, right? So I'll enter a sample project one. So you can enter your project name here and you see uh, the scrum template is selected, right? And now if you click on show more, it will give you two options for project type, either team manage or company manage, right? So you always have to select a company managed project. Why? Because there is a difference between team managed and company managed. So company managed is basically will give you the advanced configuration and what all customization you will do. Maybe if you're creating any new issue type or new workflow for your project, you can share that customization with other projects as well. So let's say if your organization is using a Jira instance and you must be having different multiple projects working on that Jira instance. So that is your company managed project, which is, which is managed by Jira admin only. And then you have that uh, configuration where you can do a lot of different configuration and share it with multiple projects. However, with team managed project, you will not have that option. And this is uh, managed by a project lead, uh, the team managed project. So select company managed project and the key will be automatically generated based on your name. So it takes first three letters of your project name and then just click on create project, right? And then it will ask you if you want to, uh, you know, connect different tools with this Jira instance, maybe Jenkins or Slack or GitHub or Microsoft Teams. So I'm just clicking skip for now. So you have to click on skip and now it will create a project for you, right? So here, if you see your sample project one is created and there you can see backlogs, active sprint reports, you know, components, issue, project setting. These are the different options you will see. Okay. So if you click on backlog here, we capture the product backlog of all our product. So product backlog, meaning it consists of everything uh, which is needed to implement your product end to end, right? So it could be your epics, features, user story tasks, your defects, uh, your technical debt, or any of your technical user stories. So what are stories or uh, requirement you have to build the product, you capture it in the form of product backlog, okay? And now let's first create a epic, right? So if you see, there are two options, one's uh, one is here, you can click on this create. And once you click on this create, see you will see uh, different issue types over here. 
So by default, Jira comes up with this many issue types. But if you want to add any customized issue type, you can uh, add that and we will see that in our next video. So for now, just click on Epic. And okay, uh, before that, you must be knowing that Epic is nothing but a large piece of work, large piece of functionality for your product. So for an example, let's say you, your product is a online leading bakery or online bakery, right? One of the Epic could be your uh, home page or your add to cart function. That could be one of your Epic, which is a bigger piece of work and now you can break them down into smaller unit of work which we call as user stories okay so here let's create this epic first and give this as sample epic name i'm giving as sample epic and summary also you have to enter the description what is that epic all about and click on create and then your epic will get created Okay, uh, so it's taking some time. So see here you see Sam 1, this issue is created. And now under this Epic, you can create multiple user stories. So if you go to Epics here, you see this sample Epic created over here. And if you just click here, you can create issue under this Epic. So issue meaning you can create different uh, user stories or what all issue type you want to select. Now, let me create a user story under this Epic. So select story as your issue type and then you can enter any stories, user story. So for example, as a user, I want to enter my email and password and click on login so that I'm able to use the application. Let's say this is my user story. And then here you can assign it to your developers. You can set the priority of your user stories. And then here you can select the epic to which epic you want to link this user story and click on create and your user story is now created so if you see here this is the user story and we have linked this user story to a sample epic okay so same way guys you can create multiple epics uh, different user stories under those epic which captures the requirement of your product and now once you have the product backlogs ready next step is to plan your sprint and to pull your backlogs in your sprint. So if you see here, this SAM sprint one, this is automatically generated. And now you can pull this user stories to your sprint. That means this is nothing but your sprint backlog, which you define in sprint planning event. Okay, same way, you can have multiple backlogs and same way you can plan your sprint and have multiple user stories in that uh, sprint. And once you have that, you can click on start sprint. And here you can select duration of the sprint, guys. So what all duration you decide, it could be your one week, two week, three weeks or four weeks. And when the custom option is there, so if you want to add some custom dates, you can add it. So for now, let's select one week of sprint. So today is 21st June and the end date is selected as 28. That is by default because we have selected one week and then you can give this sprint goal, which is very, very important to define a goal for a sprint. So I just write sample goal and then click on start. And your sprint got started. All right. And here, if you see now in active sprints, we have our sprint, which is started here. You see four days are remaining and we have this different columns on our sprint board to do in progress and done. And then you can move this user story from one column to another column. Once developers start working on it, they work on this user story. Okay. I'm not going to give you the detail about like how do you create the user story using some subtask and everything. I'm just giving you the basic overview of the Jira tool, guys. Right? And now, here, if you see these columns, you can customize this column as well as per your need. So if you want to add multiple columns to track the workflow of your uh, work, you can do that by clicking on these three dots. Go to board setting. And then go to column, 
here you see to do in progress and done you can add multiple columns so let me click on add column and let's say i want to create in testing column click on add right so see here in testing column is created and if you want to delete any of the existing column you can delete it by just clicking on this delete icon and let me add one more column uh, let's say in development and then click on add and then you can also change the position of this column so you have to do in development testing you can have peer review uat what all columns you want to track you can have that and create it on your springboard and same way you can add multiple status as well so by default you will see to do in progress and done this three status on your board but if you want to capture or create multiple status like in development in testing you can create it by clicking on this add status and just uh, create this status like in testing which i have already created okay see here you will see this in development in testing multiple status now if i go back to my board you will see the different columns which we have added over here. See, in development, in testing column have been added over here, right? So this is how you customize your Scrum board or Sprint board, guys. And this is it for today's uh, video. In the next video, I'm going to cover the other things like how do you complete the sprint? How do you create the reports? How do you create a dashboard? for your project so we are going to see it in our next video so till that time if you like this video please do subscribe like share so that you will get the notifications for other value uh, videos which i'm going to create and i do create a video on agile scrum azure devops jira and also a powerful videos for a scrum master role because i help 